welcome to Tradespoon. My name is Dr. Pell. I'm CEO and founder of Tradespoon. And today I'd like to go over current market conditions and trade of the day. We have ECB decision. We have FOMC decision next week. We're in the middle of the earnings season. Snap just announced earnings. So a lot of events that can shape the market. So let's take a look. First, let's see the disclosures. Please read the disclosures. They're very important. You can always pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. If you need two options, please read optionscreen.com. All right, let's take a look. First, looking at the spiders for the next 10 days, you can see momentum is deteriorating behind the bulls. So we're getting to the negative vector. Uh, 396 is overhead resistance, 391 support. Uh, looking at the next six months prediction, uh, again, we're still trading in the bear market. We're still in downtrend. Market uh, is still trading below 200 day moving average. Most indexes below 50 day moving average. So, pretty bearish setup. Short term, uh, obviously, uh, technology is outperforming the market, uh, the value. So, technology is outperforming the value. You can see uh, today is up 1.5%. Uh, value is only up half a percent. So, strong move to the upside, basically on its way to retest uh, February lows, right? I think market will reach that level. Short term, it's overbought, so probably after the pullback, expect something uh, along this line, right? Uh, and then there'll be the first uh, resistance level. We can definitely, market can overshoot based on the FOMC meeting and the earnings and potentially reach R2, but uh, somewhere between uh, 340 and 320, this is where I would start either be market neutral or uh, slightly uh, bearish on the market because I think this rally is uh, limited in terms of support. Again, you have support number one and then 280 is your support number two. Um, how do you take advantage of the current market volatility? Dollar cost average. So I'm trading technology, one of the, my main positions. You can sell a put spread, I have a credit put spread. But also, you can see using dollar cost average, continue to trim the position 306, 312, and maybe close the rest of the position around 320. So, still short term bullish on QQQ. Um, I would not chase the market if you don't have QQQ position. I would wait for the pullback around 292, you know, 295 is where I would potentially enter the position because for the next 10 days, you can see market. Um, it's uh, a little bit ahead of itself, overbought. Uh, so we'll see how the market opens tomorrow. But uh, you know, Snapchat is, it was down 25% pre, uh, after market hours. It's pulling Google, it's pulling um, Facebook down. Very similar setup to previous, you know, the April, uh, the first quarter earnings, where there was a pretty big sell-off uh, after Snap earnings. So we'll see, I don't think we're going to have a big sell-off, but you know it is reasonable to expect you know two five per, you know, anywhere from two to five percent pullback before um, next move to the upside. Um, yeah. If you can join YouTube, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, why join YouTube? One is well to help trade spoon. The second is we do have a live trading room, so you can join us free on every morning and uh, every Wednesday, morning bell and closing bell. Uh, we're here to support each other, ask questions. We have a lot of professional traders, money managers, excellent discussions every day. And, uh, and the best part is free. So I, I encourage you to sign up for YouTube. Join us for live discussion on uh, Wednesday. Every other day we have a video snippets explaining market conditions and uh, a different educational series on Friday. I encourage you to participate. And finally, uh, if you like any of the video contents, please uh, hit the subscribe button and share uh, with your friends. Thank you very much and have a great day.